In this lesson, uh, I want to do a few examples of how to simplify algebraic expressions with power. So this is the first example that I've got. So how do you read this? This is 5x to the power 4, y squared to the power, uh, the whole squared. Okay, now, before applying the rule, I'll show you what does this mean. This means this means this is 5x to the power 4 y squared times 5x to the power 4 y squared just like that okay now <coughs> we'll write the numbers together the x's together and the y's together so we'll write the next step like this this is 5 times 5 now this dot means times Okay, then you've got an x to the power of 4 dot x to the power of 4 dot, all these dot means times, y squared times y squared, just like that. Now you can uh, multiply these 5 times 5, you can simplify this, and you can simplify this. So this becomes... So what is 5 times 5? Five? 5 times 5 is, let me use a black color, so 5 times 5 is 25 dot means times x to the power of 4 times x to the power of 4 is x to the power of 4 plus 4 times y squared times y squared is y to the power 2 plus 2, which is 25 times x to the power 8 times y to the power 4. Now this is without applying the rule. Now so with rule, how do you do it? This you can do in one step. In with rule, this is how you do. So this same question, I can write like this. This is 5 to the power 1, x to the power 4, y squared, the whole squared. Now this is called power of power. So when you have a power of a power, or a different way of looking at this, if you have a bracket between the powers, so you've got bracket between 1 and 2, so to multiply the power. So this is 5 times 1 times 2, x to the power 4 times 2, y to the power 2 times 2. So you're distributing this power to each of this power inside the bracket. So this is 5 squared times x to the power 8, y to the power 4. And x squared, you should know, is 25. x squared means x, sorry, 5 squared is 25, 5 times 5, x to the power 8, y to the power 4. Okay, next example. So first we'll do without the rule. So just let us expand this. So this is 3n squared times 3n squared times 3n squared. So let us group the numbers together and the letters together. So this is 3 times 3 times 3 times n squared times n squared times n squared. So let us simplify or multiply the numbers and uh, so this becomes 3 times 3 times 3. So 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 3 is 27 times n squared. Now, just for those who don't know, n squared means n times n. Okay, so again, you've got n squared, which is n times n, and n squared, you've got n times n. So you've got how many, you multiplied n how many times? This is 2, 4, 6. So which we do like this, this is n times 2 plus 2 plus 2 which is 27n to the power 6. Okay, now with the rule, let me change color. So I'm going to apply the rule. Okay, I don't want to do all these steps. I want to be smart. So I will write the question again. So 3 to the power 1, n squared to the power 3. <laughs> so this becomes 3 to the power 1 times 3, n to the power 2 times 3. Just here to multiply the power 
this is power of a power, so you have to multiply the powers. So this becomes 3 cube or 3 to the power 3, n to the power 6. And 3 cube is 3 times 3 times 3. This is the same thing. This is nothing but 3 to the power 3. And that we already know is 27 n to the power 6. Okay, the last example. Yeah, what we're going to do is, so let me change color, a different color. So let me use green now. So I'm going to write this as 3 over 15 x to the power 5 over dot x to the power 1 times y to the power 6 over y to the power 4. Okay. Now, which number goes in 3 and 15? So, well, you say, okay, 3 goes in 3, so you can divide that by 3. So, if I divide this by 3, you can also divide this by, you have to divide this by 3. So, let me bring my green color. So, this is 3 divided by 3 is 1, over 15 divided by 3 is 5. Dot means times x to the power 5 divided by x to the power 1 means when you're multiplying, when you're multiplying powers, what do you do? You add them, isn't it? When you're multiplying powers or exponents, you add the power. So you do the opposite. When you're dividing, you take away the power. So it is 5 take away 1 dot. This is y to the power 6 minus 4. So this is 1 fifth times x to the power 4 y squared. So your answer is x to the power 4 y squared over 5. This and this are the same. So this is your answer. See you in the next video.